Congolese Army spokesman Brigadier General Siva Ekenge told a press conference that the coup attempt had been named in the board by the Congolese Defense and Security Forces and the situation is under control. He gave no further details. There have been reports of clashes between men in military uniform and the guards of a local politician and the latter's house in Boulevard Chachi, about two kilometers from the presidential palace, which is also home to a number of embassies. The attack comes as President Felix Tshisekedi's ruling party is embroiled in a crisis over parliamentary leadership elections that were supposed to be held on Saturday but were postponed. The government attacked the Kinshasa residents of Vital Kemehe, a member of parliament and candidate for the presidency of Congolese National Embassy. He was arrested by his guards, his spokesman Michel Motso said on the social media platform Twitter. Two police officers and one of the attackers were killed, which Muhima said began at around 4.30 a.m. at the house of Chachi Avenue. Images apparently from the area show military trucks and heavily armed men parading through the deserted streets of the neighborhoods. On Friday, April 17th, President Felix Sekedi met with parliamentarians and leaders of the ruling Union Sacrée de la Nation Coalition to try to resolve the crisis within the party, which dominates the national embassy. He said he will not hesitate to dissolve the national embassy and send everyone to re-elect if these bad practices continue. Mr. Chisekedi was re-elected president in December after a chaotic vote. Following a trend of disputed elections in the Central African country, the opposition called for a new vote because of what it described as lack of transparency.